Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I have now watched Strange Darling. I tweeted about this, follow me on Twitter, at Mystic Reviews, and I said it's incredible, because it truly is. Uh, it was a masterpiece, genuinely a masterpiece. This is written and directed by J.T. Molnar. It stars Willa Fitzgerald and Kyle Golner. And the synopsis, what you can kind of find online, is nothing is what it seems. With When a twisted one-night stand spirals into a serial killer's vicious murder spree. So, I had no idea what to expect from this because I didn't watch the trailer. All I heard in the general film sphere or cinephile sphere was that this was incredible and you needed to watch it. So I went in completely blind, and actually, just to quickly say, uh, I didn't plan to watch this film tonight either. I planned to watch The Substance, but my cinema messed up the screenings, and it wasn't on. So I was like, huh, what can I watch instead at this immediate time? Strange darling. I'll go watch that. Quick intro, entirely shot on 35mm film. Okay, you've got my attention. You genuinely have my attention. And then I start to see incredible framing and cinematography and colour grading like I haven't seen in a film for years. I can't remember the last time I watched a film that looked as good as this with as expertly laid up shots as this yeah it was amazing it was a technical masterpiece cinematography is yeah I mean if you if you appreciate cinematography you'll be having a field day with this you'll have a cinematography gasm it was truly exceptional all cinephiles that appreciate a good-looking film this this is really hard to beat I, I genuinely have not seen a film this good for a very long time. Fantastic. Just from that perspective. Now the story took a little while to get going actually. But that's kind of the point of it. Because it's, it's not what it seems. So I'm watching this and it feels like it's going one way. It begins to go another and then it begins to go another way. And then another way. It's told across six chapters. And it's not told linearly. So it opens with one chapter. Then it flits to another chapter. And it's jumping around in the timeline as it's piecing this story together. If you were to watch it linearly, it definitely wouldn't be anywhere near as exciting. Because then the twists and turns wouldn't be twists and turns. But it was amazing. It was amazing. Willa Fitzgerald is someone that I've not... I can't remember coming across... Can't, I can't remember coming across them in pretty much anything. Uh, they were great. They were absolutely fantastic. Kyle Golner as well. Kyle Golner. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. These two main actors are the centerpiece of this film. And they carry it on their shoulders. If it weren't for them being as good as they are, would this be as good of a film? No, I don't think so. It is so tense. It is so... You don't... I forgot I was watching actors at a certain point, which I know sounds a bit odd, but you know when you become so immersed in a film, which probably hasn't happened for a long time because... Cinema's just been garbage. Theatres have been putting out garbage. But when you're so engrossed in a film and you forget that you're watching a film. Yeah, that happened with this. The music. Oh, goodness me. The music. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. I think that's the word. That's the take-home word for Strange Darling is incredible. The music is a character in and unto itself. It's quite simplistic, actually. It's sort of electronic and some pretty heavy, hard beats come down to sort of accentuate 
I, I guess, action or tension moments that you should be like, wow, who's this? But it's really, really well done. Really well done. Bloody, it's gory. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you any spoilers. I don't think you should watch the trailer. I think you should go in like I did and just trust that it's going to end up a fantastic film. Willa Fitzgerald puts in such a great performance. The line delivery, the, the dialogue is incredibly well written. Like J.T. Molnar, very very well written. All the dialogue is great, right? Really 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 great dialogue. It's used sparingly as well, just as an FYI. It's not a ton of dialogue in this film, but there's enough. There's enough, and it's impactful. So there's a purpose. But it also is not written in a way which makes you think you're watching a film. Love the dialogue. But it is the delivery that matters, and that's from Willa Fitzgerald and Kyle Golner. Without them, I think you would have struggled. I, I can't picture anyone else in the role. And I think that they served it exceptionally well. There's such... I'll, I'll reveal one scene as a... And it's not a spoiler, by the way. But I want to talk about the cinematography in one scene. Or one location. Pickup truck. Just the use of framing in the pickup truck. Specific framing in that pickup truck. It's so well done. And the lighting, the blue lighting. Ah! beautiful this is this is a masterpiece film it's really really bloody good and uh yeah unfortunately i don't think it's getting the accolades it deserves not as many people are watching it as they should this to me is one of the best things that's been released in years and years and years i had such a good time with this well worth the price of admission well worth me driving over an hour in the pissing rain to go and watch it. Yeah. Strong recommendation. Strong recommendation. You... If you like film, you like thrillers, horrors. Not really a horror, but you like those types of things. Sort of psychological thrillers and just really deep, tense films. And, and you appreciate cinematography and colour grading. You'll have a field day with this. You'll have an absolute field day with this. But trust me. Trust me. Trust that it's a good film. Because a little while you, you might be like, huh, what am I actually watching here? But it's, uh, it, you'll settle into it. And it will round itself off and it will pay off. I promise you that. Great film. Strong recommendation. Go watch it. Anyway, if you've seen it, let me know what you think down below. I'd genuinely be curious to hear if you are as enamoured as I am. Take care. Bye-bye now.